Something is happening off the coasts of Spain and Portugal that has scientists baffled, sailors terrified, and social media completely obsessed. Orcas, also known as killer whales, are now targeting boats in one of the most bizarre marine mysteries of our time. What started back in 2020 as a handful of strange incidents involving curious whales has exploded into a full-scale phenomenon. By 2025, hundreds of boat encounters have been recorded, and these aren't just harmless bumps. We're talking about massive apex predators deliberately slamming into boats, ripping off rudders, and leaving experienced sailors stranded in some of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. This isn't a rumor or a viral myth. It's a documented pattern, and it's escalating. The epicenter of this drama is a critically endangered group of orcas called the Iberian population, with fewer than 50 individuals left in the wild. That number alone is shocking because such a small population is now causing chaos for an entire maritime region. Scientists tracking this trend have confirmed that these encounters are not random. The orcas are zeroing in on one weak point, the rudder. Videos captured by stunned sailors show pods of killer whales working together in precise, coordinated strikes, dismantling boats piece by piece. And these videos aren't grainy UFO-style clips. They're high-definition proof of intelligent animals displaying a level of behavior that borders on strategy. This is why marine researchers are calling it one of the most fascinating and concerning displays of animal intelligence in decades. Reports started surfacing around 2020, when sailors in the Strait of Gibraltar began sharing stories of whales circling their boats. At first, scientists thought it was an isolated quirk. Orcas are known for curiosity. They play with seaweed, toss seals into the air for fun, and surf the wakes of passing ships. But this wasn't play. By 2021, stories of rudders being bitten and boats being disabled became more frequent. 2023. Incidents tripled. By 2024 and now in 2025, verified cases are happening not just off Spain and Portugal but further east in the Mediterranean, reaching as far as the Balearic Islands. This isn't a blip. It's a five-year behavioral shift spreading among one of the most intelligent predators in the ocean. Scientists are scrambling to explain what's driving this. One widely discussed theory centers around a female orca nicknamed White Gladys believed to have had a traumatic encounter with a boat, possibly a collision or entanglement. Researchers suggest that her response may have sparked a cultural shift within her pod. Orcas are famous for their ability to teach and learn complex behaviors across generations. They've been observed passing down hunting strategies for decades. If White Gladys learned to see boats as threats, that knowledge may now be spreading like wildfire among younger whales. This isn't random aggression. It's calculated, and it may be personal. But not every scientist agrees with the revenge narrative. Some believe the whales are simply experimenting. Orcas are incredibly playful and intelligent, and humans have documented countless examples of them interacting with objects for no reason other than curiosity. Boats, with their spinning rudders and vibrating engines, could be fascinating toys to an animal with the brain power of a primate. The problem is that when a six-ton predator decides to play with a yacht, the damage is catastrophic. Other experts are examining environmental pressures. The Iberian orcas depend heavily on bluefin tuna, a species that's been decimated by overfishing and climate change. Less food means more stress, and stress often triggers unusual behavior in intelligent species. Scientists are exploring whether this behavior is a desperate response to changing ecosystems. Whatever the cause, the behavior itself is chillingly organized. Sailors have described seeing two or three orcas strike the rudder, while others watch closely, as if learning. Juveniles have been seen observing adults during these attacks, suggesting that this could be an intergenerational skill being passed down. Imagine that. Killer whales teaching their young how to disable a boat the same way they would teach them to hunt a shark or corral fish. Marine biologists are calling this one of the clearest displays of cultural transmission in wild orca populations, and it's unfolding in real time. This has created a nightmare scenario for sailors. Picture navigating the Strait of Gibraltar, a choke point between Europe and Africa, where massive tankers, 
ferries, and fishing boats crowd the waters, while knowing there is a chance a pod of killer whales could destroy your steering and leave you drifting helplessly. Yacht clubs across Spain are issuing safety warnings. Some sailors carry air horns or pour sand into the water in a desperate attempt to distract whales. But none of these measures have been reliable. Insurance companies are reporting spikes in claims from orca-related damages, with some vessels suffering tens of thousands of dollars in repairs. And because orcas are a protected species under Spanish and Portuguese law, lethal deterrents aren't even on the table. Sailors are at the mercy of these animals, and authorities can only urge caution. Conservationists warn that overreacting to these attacks could put the Iberian orca population at greater risk, which would be devastating because this group is already on the brink of extinction. Researchers are deploying trackers, drones, and hydrophones to monitor the whales, hoping to piece together what's happening before the behavior spreads even further. The data shows that not every pod is involved, but the concern is that younger whales are learning fast. If that's true, this behavior could become permanent. Social media has only added fuel to the fire. Every new video of an orca attack goes viral, fueling memes, theories, and hashtags like Ach Orca Yaprising and Ach Orca Talk. Some people cheer the whales on, calling it nature's revenge for centuries of overfishing, pollution, and whale captivity. Others worry that romanticizing the behavior is dangerous because these are wild animals capable of sinking boats. The fascination is understandable, though. There's something deeply unsettling about watching one of the ocean's smartest predators deliberately dismantle a modern yacht while the humans on board are completely powerless. This isn't even the first time whales have gone after ships. Historical records show sperm whales sinking whaling ships in the 19th century, most famously in the Essex Incident of 1820, which inspired the novel Moby Dick. The difference now is that this isn't folklore or isolated events. This is modern science documenting large predators targeting human vessels systematically, and it's happening in one of the world's busiest waterways. Marine biologists are racing against time to answer critical questions. Is this a temporary cultural fad among a small group of orcas? Or are we watching a permanent behavioral shift unfold in real time? Are the whales retaliating against human interference in their habitat? Or is this just an extreme form of curiosity? The stakes couldn't be higher. If this trend continues, it could reshape maritime travel in the region, drive up insurance costs, and force new safety measures for sailors. And for the whales, every encounter is a high stakes gamble between survival, conservation, and conflict with humans. What's clear is that this is one of the most remarkable displays of animal intelligence we've seen in the wild. Orcas are reminding the world that they're not just giant fish, they're highly strategic predators with brains built for problem solving and learning. And as long as this behavior continues, every sailor in the Mediterranean and Atlantic will have a reason to look over their shoulder, wondering if the next splash behind their boat isn't just a wave, but an apex predator coming to investigate. Whether it's revenge, play, or instinct, one fact is undeniable. The oceans are theirs, not ours, and we are now witnessing a stunning example of what happens when humans and nature collide. If you want more deep dives into real-life animal mysteries, shocking science discoveries, and stories that are changing how we see the natural world, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. This is one marine mystery that's far from over, and the next chapter could be even wilder.